Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll walk you through how to set up the ESP32 MicroPython development environment using Thani IDE. For this demo, I'll be using a budget-friendly ESP32 board with a built-in display, commonly known as the Cheap Yellow Display, or CYD. I got this one from AliExpress, and I'll leave the product link down in the description if you're interested. The specific model I'm using is the ESP32-2432S024. Just a quick note, there are a few different versions of these CYD boards on AliExpress, usually with slight differences in screen size or resolution. So make sure to double check the specs before placing your order. The setup process I'm showing today works with most ESP32 boards running MicroPython, not just this CYD. So no worries if you're using a different model, you can still follow along just fine. All right, first things first. Let's install Thani IDE on your computer. You can download it from the official website at thani.org. It supports Windows, Mac, and Linux, so no worries about compatibility. Just follow the installation steps and you'll be good to go. Once installed, plug in your ESP32 board to your PC using a USB cable. To make sure it's properly detected, open Device Manager. You should see it listed as a USB to serial COM port. Take note of the COM port name. We'll be using it in the next step. Launch Thani IDE. Look at the bottom right corner. Click on the interpreter section and choose Configure Interpreter. From there, go to the Interpreter tab and click Install or Update MicroPython. This is where we flash the MicroPython firmware onto the ESP32. Select the COM port you noted earlier from Device Manager. Under Family and Variant, choose the correct options for your board. For most of these CYD boards, ESP32 generic should work just fine. For the install speed, you can go with 460800. It offers a good balance between speed and stability. Then, just click Install. Once that's done, congrats! Your ESP32 is now running MicroPython. Check if the COM port is correctly selected, and now you can start programming. Let me give you a quick tour of Thani IDE's layout. On the left side, you'll see two file browsers. One shows the files on your computer, and the other shows the files on your MicroPython device, which in this case is the ESP32. On the right side, you've got the code editor and the shell. The shell is super useful for quick tests or debugging. You can run Python commands directly on the ESP32 right from here. You can use the stop button to reset the ESP32. For example, on this board, the red LED is connected to IO4. I can just type in a few lines in the shell to turn it on. Super handy for quick debugging or testing some logic. Now let's try something a bit more fun. We'll create a simple script to blink the LEDs. After that, click Save. Make sure to save the file directly to the ESP32. Then hit Run, and the board will execute your script right away. That's it! Super easy to get started, and this CYD is actually quite powerful for the price. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY and tech content, especially if you're into IoT, ESP32, or anything maker related. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.